What is up guys? We are starting day five of Rocky Mountain Race Week. We are at Bandemir and we are heading to Pueblo. I think it's just shy of 200 miles and we're starting to drive through the mountains. It's going to be really pretty and scenic for a little bit and it's going to get kind of boring near the end. But that's the drive today. So we stopped at the gas station right here by the track. There's some race weekers here. We're going to walk around, see who's here and uh, probably tag along with one of them along the, along the way when we leave here. So uh, that's what we're doing today. What's up guys? Step. How are we doing? You just checking her over before you get on the road, or what's going on? Keep eating spark plug wires. Oh, like melting them or what? Yeah, melting them down. You melted a porcelain. porcelain. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's it's hot. I thought that's a, that's some talent right there, guys. <laughs> now, we're, now we're putting it back together, double heat wrapping it, each plug wire. Isn't that crazy looking? So is it just the one cylinder that's doing it? Or is it? Oh no, it's all of them. It's all of them. It's oh, all of them. And then we switched the MSDs out for the ones that are like the with tailors that are porcelain, porcelain from here bottoms. to here. Yeah. And we just pulled one of those out. That was correct. There's, there's damage on it. What? <laughs> These guys are ready to go. They want to get on the road. Hollywood J. <laughs> well, this seems like a fun group, so we're gonna hop in with them for at least the first little bit and continue on the drive. to the first checkpoint of the day, which is the Sasquatch Outpost right here. Just like any other checkpoint, you just gotta pull your car up, take a picture, prove you were here. And uh, while people are here, they normally hang around and uh, chit chat with each other. And we're gonna see if we can chit chat with a few of these guys, see if anybody, anybody's had struggles on the road. So far, we haven't seen anybody pulled over. That doesn't mean there haven't been struggles yet. So we're gonna see what's going on. How we doing? What's up, well man? Do a little mountain tuning. I was about to say. Well, we had an O2 sensor that went bad, and all of our tuning for that went right out the window. Gotcha. So now we're kind of starting all over. Other than that, no struggles on the road? You know, actually going down the road, we haven't had any issues. We've been fighting that, that um, O2 sensor for two days. We were like blasted on our class because we just couldn't make it run. Right. Finally, uh, talked to the Holly guys, and they said, oh yeah, that's what it is. So we changed that out, and now we got a whole new car. And, we were third fastest last night in Denver, so dang. Yeah, so we're just far out of the out of the out of the points or the uh, average. That it's about at. finishing. It's about <laughs> finishing. No, no, it's not. <laughs> it is about finishing, but you know that competitive nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we just can't can't give it up. Well, hopefully your tuning goes well, and yeah. uh, we'll see you in Pueblo Good later. You, later, man. How we doing? Good. I see we got a we got a new hood on this from from Sick Week, yeah, right? Yeah, actually no, it's the same hood. Oh, yeah, is it? Yeah, we was able we were able to fix it. I remember this thing. I, I was filming yeah. with my cell phone when going on the track, and all of a sudden, right at the finish line. Yeah, yeah my son said it got like a hundred feet of uh, of air time. Oh yeah, for That's sure, cool. for sure. But, uh, How you guys been on the road so far? Oh, uh, we're doing good. Uh, we got a net. It, the car doesn't like the altitude, so we got like a still trying to get the low speed uh, transition coming off the throttle once a stall sometimes gotcha but i think once we get down lower we'll be okay but it's running good got down the hill okay yesterday you know good enough for one and done good good, good in class good. i'm always happy about that hell yeah oh yeah what class you in what's that what class you in uh outlaw street gotcha gotcha yeah. well i won't keep you Good luck on the road. We're waiting for, we're waiting for the Sasquatch store to open. We want to check it out. What time? What time's it open? At? It's supposed to open at nine o'clock. Uh, oh, seven minutes. Yeah, okay. Seven minutes. We'll probably. Do you want to see the Sasquatch store? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna stick oh, around yeah. too. Okay. Cool. <laughs>
That does not sound good. Hey, you're not allowed to die. Just letting you know. What's going on? I've been having a uh, hot fuel issues. So it's just the fuel's getting hot and yeah. kind of, uh, was it hy not hydro locking? Yeah. Well, yesterday it was boiling. That's what, okay, yeah. So we fixed it yesterday, but now, you know, what's the pressure, so. was it? Was it only giving you guys trouble through the mountains or was it all day yesterday? Uh, let's see. Yesterday is when I worked on it. It was the day before that I was having boiling issues. Oh, okay. Got and it. a long drive. Yesterday, I changed the ground, and that seemed to fix the issue. Um, so drove to the track, or so drove home from the track just fine. Made it all the way to just here just fine. Hopefully it's not a huge issue all day and you gotta keep going over. Yeah, well, that's what we were worried about on two days ago. At least the weather's nice. It shouldn't be too hot today. Yeah. If I if I was filming Bigfoot, I would get a clear shot. I'm telling you that for free. Look at this. I don't like him being up like that all the way up there. You know how much that's gonna slow our trip down if he falls. <laughs> that's not great looking. There's like fuck. You guys decided to make a stop here at Mountain Star Ranch? Yeah, that's right. So pretty we had to stop. <laughs> What's the issue? What's going on? I don't know. Oh no. Well, oh. well, we have help coming, I guess. We're going to be waiting a little bit. Unless you have a spark plug wrench. Oh, you don't have a spark plug wrench? Oh no. Please. We, for, we, we kind of forgot some things. <laughs> well, can we wave Thought people we down and then yeah. ask if they have one? Yeah. 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 There should be some racers coming by. Yeah. For those of you guys that don't know, when people are rolling by, we're giving them thumbs up or thumbs down. Thumbs up means we're fit, we're on the side of the road, we're broken, but we're fixing it and we're good. Thumbs down means we're gonna need some help or we need tools or something. So when you give the guys thumbs down, three people pull over and they got trailers full of tools. I'm sure at least one of them has a spark plug socket. So we're, we should be good. Right? <laughs> I don't know what it is yet. But got a socket? Plug out, well, we'll learn something. Hey! Hell yeah! Grom. That's the Grom! Dude, it was all he could do is go up those hills. Oh, he said he said downhill the fastest he could do is like 67. <laughs> and then flat ground it's 55, yeah. and I'm sure up the mountains it's like 38. <laughs> huh? Hopefully it don't oil like crazy and just soak your stuff down, but I'd fire it up for a quick second. I need to plug this. It'll take long and the sensor need to be plugged in? No. Is that to That's his vacuum. Oh. Oh no. What do you think it is? Well, it sounded like he was pushing right back up through the dang intake. So say could a valve be broken That's, and push his back flop it. Say it sounded like he was trying to yeah, back feed right back through it. Did you just do it all at once? Mm-hmm. Ouch. That's so did you have any of them with no lash? No. Because then, it, you know, if it knocked the head off the valve, it would well, push in the... Oh, you know what I mean? That the, definitely... Then the valve would start coming up the guide farther, and then you'd lose all your eyes. I guess I didn't check it like that. And the way it looks like... Look the, the he's no. loosening the rocker arm up on that one there, and still not getting any lash. So then the guide and the spring are going to push up and keep so that lash under. tight. Leave it on there, Dad. That's not good. It's still coming out. Yeah, I'm sure. The whole... I'm broken sure. valve. Yeah, that's broken valve. Uh -oh. 
How does that happen? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Let me see this. Yeah, she's smooth broke. Smooth and broke. Can we weld it? Yeah, can, can you weld, weld it? it? Yeah. Get some, get some JB weld out. JB weld. Okay. <laughs> don't want to run no more. I got some duct tape. Oh, <laughs> well, no. Oh, it broke the date. Popped the head off of it. We did that. We've done that before. What's the deal? So we're done. Well, well hey. <laughs> weigh your options first, okay? Yeah. Weigh your they options first. Like a good show. It, it's not. We like that. We don't work do all have, night. <laughs> do you have good. a valve? Huh? Do you have a valve? No. How hard is it to get? <laughs> uh, yeah, a month. Uh, well, well, guys. Yeah. At, 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 we're gonna we're gonna get back on the road. We're, yeah. The other guys are gonna roll through. They'll check in with you a little later. But good luck to you. Hopefully something figures out. If not, we'll see you. I'm going. Well, we're lucky it didn't screw up. All right. Like I said, we're gonna get back on the road. The guys that stopped and gave us a tool. Shout out to them. They're getting back on the road as well, and they're good, upstanding citizens. So I'm sure they're gonna be just fine and just cruise on out of here. But if not, we're gonna film it. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, what do we got here? Shout out to those guys. We're gonna get back on the road and uh, see if we can catch up some more racers and make it to Pueblo and race time. <laughs> What's the feel of choice up here? We're gonna take 91. Okay. No 85 today? No, uh, if we got 91, you know, we spent a little extra cash. I won 100 bucks off of Matt Frost earlier this week, so, you know, it's been going towards our guests. Oh, week. that's right. Yeah. The flyby at Great Bend. Yeah. So, drives going good. This is the best drive. It's not as hard on the car, and the views are the same, so. Definitely enjoying that. Hell yeah. Ready to make it to the track, get this thing dialed. And you got fuel. Yeah, we gotta go fast today because <laughs> the uh, competition is right there. That's right, that Firebird is right on your heels. We're pretty much next back, yeah. Pueblo Motorsports Park and it's time to go drag race. We've got our index classes kicking off the day today and then we're going to see all the faster cars progress through through the rounds and we'll be running these cars as many times as possible. This year the cars have been getting at least four, five, six passes each day which is a lot more than some years. We haven't really had any major oil downs or delays so lots of racing for you guys. Let's hit the track. Good afternoon. What's up buddy? How we doing? We are doing so good, Mr. Fred. How's your first? This is your rookie year, right? For being a driver, rookie you've done several. Year. You've done several in the passenger seat. Yep. How's your first year driving going so far? It's going amazing. I mean, there's been some hiccups. Yeah, I mean that'll happen. It's race but week. It's going good. It's going really good. I mean, we're in second place right now. Today's the last race day that really counts. Right. So. Do you know what you have to do to get to get ahead, or what? What? Well, how, first how place would have to have a rough day, and okay. I would have to run a pretty much on the number. Gotcha, gotcha. So. What are we hoping for today? I'm hoping for a 9-0, but. 9 with an O? If I can go like a 9-3, I think, it'll secure second place. Okay, okay. 
And then have some fun tomorrow, heads up stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Test her out. Good luck to me. All right, man. How's the Typhoon doing today? Uh, we're hoping for a little more boost. Quick rundown on the setup. This isn't the 4.3 turbo that came in these things back no. in the day. There's a, there's a lot <laughs> changed since then. Give me 30 seconds. What is the setup on, on the two? Okay, Typhoon? this is a LSX block. Okay. Um, it's a 427. TFS 245 heads, 230-ish cam, Edelbrock intake, a twin S366s. Okay. Um, what ETs have you been running this week so far? Oh, uh, not what we were hoped. I would have been great in the 10.0 class the first few days. <laughs> ran a bunch of 10.0s and then ran a 978 as we were starting, to, or 987 yesterday as we were starting to get our act together. Got gotcha. Still only on like 16, 17 pounds of boost and usually I run this car at 25 to 28. So gotcha. Gotcha. we're hoping to get up there a little higher and start running some decent time. Okay. Well, hopefully, we'll be rooting for a low nine today. I hope so. Good That's luck, man. Going. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Happy birthday, Fred. Stop that. <laughs> Who keeps saying this? Stop that. <laughs> you guys get a ride here? No, we trailered it. Oh, okay. Broke a valve. That's what I saw, but I was like, maybe there's some miracle that somebody there's had no, that custom valve. No miracles valve. today, gotcha. no. That's a custom valve. Well, that's, that ain't, you well, ain't getting one of those. Well, that sucks. Yeah. We'll be back next year, though, right? Oh, uh, this is my 14th Dragon Drive. I don't well, there you go. Now. <laughs> See you, man. If you guys are enjoying our Rocky Mountain Race Week coverage, I just wanted to remind you to check out our website. It helps us afford to go on these trips and bring you guys this coverage. The link's down in the description below. I recommend that I like doing hood rat stuff with my friend shirt. It's my new personal favorite. And we just got back our XXL drying towels. It will be the last drying towel you ever buy. It will dry your entire car or truck without even wringing it out. You'll love it. Link's down in the description below. We appreciate it. Back to racing. All right, guys, we just got to the track, and I just got word that, uh, Kyle's gonna go for a plane ride. I don't know where he's getting a plane at, but he's going for a plane ride, so we're gonna send it over to him. That thing takes off in a short distance.
How was that? That was amazing. Oh no, runaway golf cart. Stay. Okay, good job. <laughs> yeah? That, that was fun. Perfect weather for flying. It looked like a blast. It was. Yeah, that was that worked out great. Thank you for the yeah. ride, man. That was oh, awesome. Anytime, man. Where can we find videos of what you do? Uh, so Gravity Night Flying is my YouTube channel, Night with a K, long story, we'll get into that, but uh, <laughs> just a small little channel, I've been trying to build up. It's tough in aviation, you know, there's just far less people into that kind of stuff, and, but uh, that's that's where I, I mostly do a lot off airport, just going up into the, the Rockies, up in the mountains, just landing all over, trying to find cool places to camp, and that kind of stuff so how much do you say this weighs so empty no fuel no nothing in it it's about 785 785 pounds <laughs> it's not much to it no it's cloth i don't know if like any it's probably really hard Wait, to what tell is, what is this material but like uh you can see it flex to like a little bit kind of like well, thanks green. again for the ride man that was oh. that was a treat for sure what a great way to see Pueblo motorsports yeah. park i've flown the drone plenty over here right but it's a whole different experience when you get oh. to feel it glad to that was a blast thanks again yeah thanks let's go you. check out some racing Just, you ask him. You ask him. Yeah. Uh, then we'll be 100%. What's up? That's what I was that a 29? Was that a 29? That was a 29, bro. So, so that's secured. Second. I about to say. So you're sealed the deal on second yeah. place. And first just went like a 78. So. Okay. It's looking really good. And I got out of it and got back in it. So. I was about to say you did get out of it a little bit. That would have yeah. been. You would have been this much closer. Are you gonna go back up there and try to get that 900? Yeah. Yeah. We probably will. Okay. But not bad, first pass. No, not it's bad. It's exactly it's what you so need. It's so good, dude. It's so good. I'm fired up right now. Good, good. So I'm out screaming. I think I lost my voice a little bit. <laughs> well, yeah, get her cooled off. Good, yeah. Get her cooled off. Make some adjustments. We'll see you up there again, man. All right. Congrats. For those of you who don't know, they're doing Rocky Mountain Race Week a little bit differently this year. Basically, instead of racing five days and then taking your averages to figure out who won, you're racing four days, figure out averages, figure out who won, and then on the last day, you have a drive day, and then you have the last day in Great Bend, and you have to do heads-up racing against the other drivers. The race that you guys are used to, you got the best average wins, ends today. So he just locked up second place, pretty sure. I think third's too far out to get it, and he's gonna go up there a little bit later, make some adjustments, and try to do a 9-0 and get a little bit closer. I don't think he can get number one, but also, if the number one guy does not make it to Great Bend, uh, he wins. So the number one thing to do at a Dragon Drive is you have to finish. Doesn't matter if you're ahead by five seconds. If you don't finish, you don't win. What's up, Blaine? I don't know if you remember because you would have been so young back then, but I'm sure your dad does. What year was it that we we found you guys at this track? 2020. We finished this car in 19. I took it to the roaster show, which was COVID, right? Isn't that when COVID started? COVID started 2020. It was 2020. So then it was 20. It seems like it was five years ago. Yeah. But I remember because you were you were up there lining up your dad. We've never seen a kid this young lining up his dad like yeah. this. And you look like a 40 year old doing it. And you're still in the comments to this day. You're you're that 50 year old guy stuck in a 13 year old's body, which is awesome. Pretty cool. All right, you guys are both racing. Yes. Where are you guys at? independently in your class. Okay, so I'm in second place right now, and Dad is in fifth place in stick shift. Okay. So, I need to go basically get on my dial if I want to win this. Was that a 919? Yeah. 919, okay. Uh, and Dad probably needs to go a nine. Oh, we need to go as fast as we can. Yeah. We need to go nine something to get. So you both need nines. Just we eighth mile, quarter mile. Yeah, we need a 919 in the quarter and a 919 in the eighth. That's what <laughs> Just turn up the nitrous, right? <laughs> oh, remember last time we talked about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are jets. And they burned up. Oh my God, what a dumbass. Well, we love seeing you guys. All our fans still love you guys to this day. You guys are awesome. It's fun. Thank uh, you. I'm glad to see you guys made it to Pueblo. Cool. Uh, put up some numbers and then get on the road tomorrow. We'll see you guys. See we'll you see you guys a little later. Thank you. All right. See ya.
back in. Go, baby, go! <laughs> Go, 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 go! Twenty-three at fifty, not bad. Looking for a 919. So I just looked it up. The Firebird has a 7423 average, and Cletus has a 7377 average for the week. So if Cletus can do something in the 720s, it should lock it in for the week, but who knows what the Firebird can do. We'll be seeing him make a pass here momentarily. And I see he has a Spoolmaster 9000 still installed on the turbo, so he shouldn't have a problem spooling up here at about, I think it's about 5,000 feet elevation here at Pueblo. said hi yet this week. I, I, I got to stop by and say hi. How you doing? No, you're, you haven't done anything like dramatic, like have to work on your engine every single day or anything like that. No, it's it's been uh, it's been a nice Rocky Mountain race week. It's been relaxing. What? Okay, it might be a weird question, but what's the setup this time? Because every time I see it, it's different. What do we got this time? Uh, it's a 408 Windsor with a turbo. Okay. Pretty basic. What do you do in ET wise? Uh, we're in the 10 index class, so we're trying to run 10 on the number. Where are you yes. at? We, we are fifth place. We okay. ran 10 3 yesterday, which was really good. And then we turned it up and ran our fastest pass ever. The 988. Hell yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Nice. 10 0 with an O. That's the goal for the day, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we were really close yesterday. 10 3. Our first day was uh, rough to say the least, so we only managed a 10-7. So we're pretty much out of it. The top three guys are gonna, you know. Oh! <laughs> On camera even! <laughs> Tabs the shit out of it. You never say you're out of it. <laughs> Alright, well, glad to see you back. Thanks, Fred. We'll see you on the next pass, man. Yeah, Good luck. Absolutely, thank you. Man, that really did just get you, didn't it? Yeah. Ugh. Absolutely. You're alright. <laughs> Later, man. He's a nice guy. He likes stabbing me. <laughs> Rest of the drive was good? Yeah, went good. Sweet. So, it's got to run good today. Last day to lock it in. We're barely ahead. So. Yeah, so this year's a little different. You only have to, for the average, you race four days, yeah. and then you have to finish a great bend and make a pass to lock yeah, it in. Yeah, so the average gets locked in today. As long as you break the beams tomorrow, you're good. But there's like a heads up race tomorrow. So. And then we got a Battle Royale heads up drag race on Friday. The fastest, you know, cars here. So that'll be fun because I definitely prefer heads up racing. Yeah. Yeah, this is the average stuff's awesome. Though. So you're sweet. in first now overall? Barely, yeah. What's the spread with the Firebird? Uh, if he beats me by a tenth, I think he. It's that takes, close. It's that close, yeah. So I'm pretty sure. I haven't like hit Excel or anything and figured it out, but I'm pretty sure it's around a tenth. So, I'm nervous. I'm excited. I've always wanted to win this event, so that'd be epic. Got Midwest drags a few weeks ago, and yeah, and here you are. But <laughs> I just want to stay humble and do my job. Just one or until, two passes away until the job is done. Good luck on the first round. Thanks, buddy. What's up? What's up, dude? How are you feeling after yesterday? Good. Good. Congrats on the runs yesterday. Thank you. That was fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. Intercooler made it through the mountains. Yeah. Made it through the mountains just fine. She's all passed up. So. What's your What's your goal for today? 200, seven ones. What's your fastest mile an hour so far? 196. Some change. Oh. So. 
Knock and elevation, I think, is just a little bit lower here, but the weather's not quite as good. Right, right. Yep, I agree. So I've, I'm guessing the DA is probably about the same as it was in Van Buren. Yeah. So. And you're less than a tenth behind Cletus, I think? I'm 0460, I think. Wow. That's a tight spread. It's pretty tight. It's going to be a really interesting day. Exactly. Might go back and forth a few times today. We might be battling it out, you know. I got the gloves. In Hell yeah. There, so I love it. On. <laughs> Sweet. Hope uh, you have a great day. Nice I'll be checking in with you later. Appreciate you. The Firebird here in second place, just behind Cletus by less than a half of a tenth. It's gonna be a fun day. We'll see how it goes. about that that uh, him and the Firebird are gonna be shooting out here the Firebird's still got a chance he's been in the 20s I think so he could yeah he could take over first possibly if he gets in the teens hey Alex Taylor's here hell yeah must got the trans fixed quicker than that. I don't know what the numbers are, but probably like a 725, 26 to pass him with that ET. They'll be making a few passes today, so it's just going to go back and forth if he is able to be pleased on his pass. Now up after the Firebird runs, we got Matt Frost and the Hulk making an exhibition pass. Matt runs Rocky Mountain Race Week. He's been trailing his car here because he's running the event, but he's been making a pass at most of the tracks. Ran a 690-something yesterday. If you didn't check that out, check it out in yesterday's video. It was a wild pass. First six second on this week. This doesn't count because he's not making the drive, but it was really cool to see. Nice pass. Smooth. Pressure's Ooh. on. I hope we can improve too. I hope we can improve. We got to, I think. Track's good. He's got a lot higher, so. Not much traction control on that one? I mean, I think a little bit, but nothing like, you know, it wasn't like really tracking the loose. It was just kind of tire shimmying. Yeah. No problem, buddy. I got you. We got it. Eight, eight seventy-three. <laughs> done now. Dude. Wow. That was, that's that's got to be so close right now. Seven twenty for the Firebird. That's got to put him in first right now. Cletus is gonna need something quicker than that. 
This is great. I love the competition. Number we got. <laughs> oh, oh, pretty good, pretty good. I don't like spoiling surprises. <laughs> I'm guessing it's good if you're here. <laughs> pretty good. Woo! Yeah. That mile an hour was down for some reason. Oh, it was 192. Yeah. We'll figure that out. You guys out. have to be slow close right now. We gotta go faster. Badass. Uh, nice run. Thanks, All right, for the fans at home, give me a quick recap of what all you did when we saw you at the uh, at the checkpoint there. All right, so the bolts did bolt the three pieces of the wheel together, keep snapping going down the road, it breaks the top of the heads off. They're only quarter twenties, so I, after changing them out four times this week, I went by a hardware store and bought drill bits and tap and. 5 16th bolts, so I can swap them out. So I've only got one done. I'm going to do the other one later tonight or in the morning. Gotcha. How did it, how did it ride? Did it feel everything feel okay when you're driving? Oh, great. Yep. Good. Good. What are we hoping for pass tonight? What do we look for ET wise? I don't know. Uh, I'd like to get back to where I was at 2.0, which is 855. Okay. But okay. had one problem after another, so clean pass and I'll be happy. All right. Good luck, man. Thank Glad you. to see you made it. Welcome back. She all fixed up? It made it here. Awesome. So It made it here. Okay, it so it's it fixed-ish. Yeah, so the crazy part is, is like, you guys saw the thrash of yeah. the transmission. And Dad and I had it out in 25 minutes. We had it fixed with some really interesting mechanics going on there. <laughs> I saw that. Um, and it would have made it. You know, it drove here, but they closed the lanes early, which was not, like, in no control of, you know, Matt and June. Um, they, they couldn't help that. But it was like, that was just like a stab. It was like, we were so close. Uh. Um, but the train the car did make it, and we, we have a plan. So as long as we have a plan, All right. that's a good thing. So there's still a couple more days left, and there's a drive day tomorrow and a race day on Friday, so... The car's gonna be there. Is it fixed it fixed ish enough to make a full pass today or it's gonna make like it's gonna make a, it'll make a nice cruise down the track. Okay. Say probably on street tires. Gotcha. I mean I'm out of I was of, wondering why you guys weren't hurrying to get ready to make a run here. I'm out of for like I can't compete in that section at this point. And so um honestly changing tires sucks. And I don't think it's fixed enough to I always used to wonder why Tom Bailey was like, all or nothing. Like, we either break it or we run fast. Gotcha, yeah. And I was always like, why do you do that? Don't you want to finish? He's like, no, there's no glory in that. And I feel that, you know? Like, I do want to finish. Your head's in that spot. It is. I'm like, yep. I want to go fast, you know? So There's okay. a part two to this race, so yes. we'll see what happens in Great Bend. And it's still driving. It's still good. So good. We'll be there. Good. It'll be good. So. Well, it's good to see you here. Good to see you. All right. today. <laughs> Sean been picking on you this year? He has been. He was picking on me all, all year he, last year. He's a good competitor. He is. I will say that. Keeps you on your toes. Yeah, our first two days we were tied and then yesterday on the mountain 
we got a 10.050 and we thought we had him. Yeah. But he got one in at the end on us and he went a 10.02 something. So we're real close. I'm hoping, hoping today is good. What's the margin right now? It's like a hundredth. <laughs> Yeah, I'm at a I'm at a 10:05:33. He's at a 10:04:5. No, 10:04:5. Yeah. Damn. So it's super close. Open. Yeah. We can pull one out. What's the combo on the Camaro? Uh, it's a 408 LS uh, main studded head studded. I ended up having to put the stock top end back on because I hurt my FR heads, but it is what it is. It's still you know competitive 10. I'm a rookie, so this is my first year doing this. I really? had no idea I'd be. So competitive. That's that. awesome. I'm in. You know, I'm I'm in it. What's your prediction for this run? 10 0 0 All right. <laughs> That's always always always. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Hopefully so. you get it. Good luck, yep, man. Thank you. Do you know what the number is you need to lock it in? I think I'd have slightly better than a 1004, my average, um, and he'd have to have a perfect number to be able to beat me. So I have to get like, I need to have an 04 or less. Lock Pretty it bad. In. Yeah. <laughs> but wow. If he wins, I'm perfectly all right with that because he's a cool kid. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, it was a good race. I love the close competition. That's yeah. that's epic. Yeah, okay, that was cool. That was side by side. Yeah, we both yeah. I bet the GoPros are gonna be wild. Yeah. What were the reactions? Oh yeah, the, you guys were literally glued the together. Same. I yeah, bet. Looking at each other the whole Holy time. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was Amazing. Good. Nice run. I was pretty pumped. <laughs> Have you done the math yet? Uh, Garrett did the math. Yeah. Where are you at? Uh, we got 3,000 gap where we're ahead just... You're still ahead? Still ahead. Just Even with barely. that 20? Yeah. Wow. Barely. This is going to get Spicy. interesting. Yeah. So this next one, we're going to throw something at it. If it holds, we're going to go fast. If it doesn't, we're going to go back to the drawing board and try to figure it out. So. Three thousandths of a second between first and second overall. Yeah, right now. <laughs> Unbelievable. I and thought I'm, for sure he passed you with that. Yeah. It was like 12 hundredths quicker or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And when we still firm it, he gets it, man. It's it's awesome either way, you know. It's a lot yeah. of work for I love how team. I love how tight it is. Yeah, me That's too. That's badass. in the eights. Yeah! 
Chris off of perfect. Dude. Hey. Now Rocky. we wait. Now we wait. Racer, dude. We're good Let's to go, dude. Morning. That's an eight second blazer. Oh, 100%. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> All right, we saw you on the road. We caught up with you a little bit. How's your first thousand miles been on the on the Grom? Long and slow. Long and slow. <laughs> what time did you What time did you leave this morning, or did you leave last night? I, I left this morning from over there. I was at the gas station by the track like seven o'clock, and then got over here one thirty ish. That's not bad. And I missed two turns. That's not bad at all. So, no, it wasn't too bad at all. What's been your favorite and least favorite part of race week so far? The worst has been the uphills today. They were miserable. My favorite was the, the last part of the route coming into Bandamere. That was fun. <laughs> A nice. whole lot of fun. Nice. You ready for it? Well, I think it's like 400 miles tomorrow. I'm going to make some of it tonight so it's not so bad tomorrow. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Good yeah. luck, man. Thanks. Hell yeah. You guys didn't see in the previous videos or earlier in this video, uh, that's a Grom. He's legit driving a Grom on race week. It's going to be like 1,400 miles and he's having a blast. He's going to each track. I think he's doing about 22 or 23 seconds at the quarter mile, which isn't, isn't crazy fast, but as long as he's having a good time, that's all that matters. saw it coming. No. Never saw it coming. Bill and Guido both out after, well Bill was out yesterday, Guido out the first day. That's right. Leaving uh, you in first after being in, well you're third originally? I think I was in second rolling into Carney. Then after Carney I was in third and then after Vandermeer uh, I was in second and then Bill found out he was hurt. I didn't even know he was hurt until like an hour ago. Yeah he's a, uh, that sucks man. Uh, he's, yeah I know. looking up to that guy and, and uh, Guido for a while. Like I watched their, the, the coverage you guys had of him. Yeah. And, uh, Two of the baddest sick car, sick street cars out there. Yeah, and I had the mentality. I was like, man, I'm coming in. I'm just gonna have a good time, uh, you know. And then one dropped, and I was like, wait a minute. And then another dropped, and I was like, oh my god, I got a chance. <laughs> so I assume that 93 locks you in for first. Uh, so the guy in the fair lane has to run a 9.65 to, to pass me. That'd be tough. He's been 10 O's. He has been in nines yet. That would be really tough. He did trap 149 miles an hour at Vandermeer, though. Damn. So it's, it makes power. Yes. It makes power. But hopefully, hopefully that last run will hold me in. Wow. Don't tell anybody my clutch is fried. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So you're pretty much just waiting to see yeah. if that's how the cards fall. Yeah, that's right. Well, props on building a hell of a street truck. Thanks, man. And congrats, congrats probably, probably on the first probably. first place win. Yeah. Nice work, man. Hey, Congratulations. Man. See ya. That is one badass stick shift truck right there. Ooh, we got the nitrous on! It's nitrous time, huh? Just a little bit. The Grom's back. Got a few more bikes. Who, who's the most butt hurt at this point? A thousand miles? You feeling all right? Good. Good? I'm feeling fine. You guys are crazy. <laughs> are you still eager for more driving or riding? I did an extra you ready? 40 miles yesterday just because. Of what the mountain runs, I'm sure, would be a blast. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow's going to be the worst day of the week. Yeah, just yeah, through yeah, the planes. The flats at noon when it's 105. Yeah. It's going to be brutal tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. going to be a Probably try to leave as early as possible. Yeah. I'm sure. Did you guys get stuck in the cold last night? Uh, it was 40 degrees by the time I got to my room. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, I, I stopped in Breckenridge 30 degrees. for the night. 30 degrees? You're out late? Yeah. I was Hell no. So the first year we had like one bike, and then we had two, and now we've got like 10, 
And we in a freaking Grom. <laughs> um, I've actually ran every single bike motorcycle. Man. Yeah, he's been at all yeah. three of them. I'm glad you guys are here. And a really cool variety of bikes, too. Yeah. I love it. Well, Thanks I mean, for... It's pretty fun because we all just kind of fall in where we're supposed to be on the first day. Yeah. So there's really no oh, yeah. competition. There's no... Nice and consistent. Yeah. We really... We knew where we was going to be before we even started running. Oh, yeah. We, oh, just, yeah. we already knew. So. Fucking Busa, guys. <laughs> more about this run. Yeah. Really make it where we make it. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Enjoy your pass today. Thank you, man. It is 6 p.m. We already got racers leaving to get back on the road. That is everybody's ideal situation. Just do one pass, get it over with, get the number you want, and get back on the road. A lot of them are going to sleep here tonight in Pueblo, but some are going to get on the road tonight, and so the drive doesn't suck as bad tomorrow because it's going to be hot. Mr. Number One and Rowdy Radial. Yep. Think you locked it in there with the, the last pass? I think so. I think uh, Donovan needs to go 5 0 something right now to uh, tie. So should I know be second, third, safe. fourth has been a pretty heated battle, but you've been leading it pretty much all week, right? Yeah. Yes. Yep. 527, 526, 521. Yep. And it was a 32? 32. 32. Last hit. Nice. So, made some changes, added some more timing, so let's see what it does. Got it. Enjoy the rest of your runs today. Yep. Will Congrats, do. man. Awesome. Thank you. Will she go 100 miles an hour today in the Mini Cooper? That's Jeez, a, dude. 14 1, though. That's not bad. We'll come back, but it's cool. Yeah. So we'll either break out or we'll get. <laughs> she's going to get 100 miles an hour one way or the other. <laughs> oh, this tailwind picks up just a little bit more. She's You're right it. there. <laughs> That's it. That's awesome. Oh, dang. He's got, the, he's got the tires on there now. Woo! Is this the pass? Hopefully. Can you take first place back? Hopefully. Well, I don't know about that. Look at my windshield, though. Oh, you cleaned it! Bug free! Nice! That was great! Yeah? That was awesome last time. How, how is it? I sprayed it on, and it's sitting in the sun, so I try not to get streaks. Yeah. It If you guys haven't checked out our bug remover yet, it is the best that you will find, I guarantee you that. Joe was in first place for 14 class yesterday, but had really bad luck, couldn't figure out the car in elevation, and I think is in fourth or fifth or something like that. We'll see how close we can get to a 14 here. Joe. Oh yeah. Fourteen twenty nine. At least that's better. All right. Yeah, that is better. We're taking steps in the we're right direction. There. We're getting there. That's right. Junior racers rolling up. See how this class falls. It's really hard to follow because our standings are in order by quickest average, but it's actually the quick closest average to their dial-in. So we'll have, to, we'll have to find out who wins this. But I believe. Don't quote me, I believe the Fox Buddy's in first and Blaine's in second. This gonna be a good pass? Uh, it's gonna be much better pass. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Got the confidence back. You guys have fun. <laughs> Definitely the coolest class here at Race Week. 13 to 16 year olds drag racing with their parents or an adult in the passenger seat. This truck blew up its motor and they swapped it two days ago and they're still in the competition. Over a thousand miles driven on these vehicles.
morning at 9.22 on a 9.19 dial in. He is going to be stoked. Let's go catch him at the time slip booth. You got to see it already, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I saw it on the board. Hell yeah. <laughs> 9.22 on a 19 yeah! dial in? Nice. That's what we needed right Good there. Good job, boys. Yeah. <laughs> that was good pass. Wow. Nice work, guys. That's right. epic. I was pedaling it so bad at the beginning. <laughs> I like, I was like, Don't go oh. too fast. Don't go too fast. I was like, it's too fast. It's too fast. It's too fast. Wop, 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 wop. Okay. <laughs> and then I looked up and was like, oh, wow, that was a pass. Run an eighth mile, you get to see your scores when you go by. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, awesome. Mile, yep. Oh, that was such a good pass. That was good. Wow. That's all him. I was like, dude, good job pedaling. He's beat me to it. Yeah. Good job, bud. Woo! That's gonna be hard to beat. Right. Good job, guys. He's excited. Now we gotta switch it over into nitrous stick shift class mode for dad because they're both racing it, they're driving it over a thousand miles so far. They have about 300 miles to go tomorrow. Crazy team effort there. That's a little better. A little bit. Over 10 seconds off yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> what a run. Uh, 11 9. Nice. Good work. Congrats. What's that? We're down a cylinder still. Oh, you are? Yeah. <laughs> so. Hey, it's still running. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's not it's not dripping oil out either. Right. Nice work, guys.
Sweet. Hell yeah. Is that your first nine? Yep. In this truck, at least. Yeah. Goodness. That's got to feel good. Oh, it feels so good. Especially letting up a little bit. Transpander for the win. Right? So nice work. Thank you, man. Ninety something at two oh one. Nice just work. Knocked it out of the park. I put some rear rear steer in it to keep it in the groove, and she just went straight on down through. Got there. it. So nice and straight. Very awesome. Good work, Matt. Thanks, bud. <laughs> and change but uh, it was 182.75 out the back it was rolling pretty good not bad um, yeah pretty soft it was only a 13960 I, I just wanted to go A to B and just have to get lucky and get another one you know nice so, so, uh, all right congrats man hey thanks man appreciate it we'll see you the see come on we will either see you on the road <laughs> tomorrow or we'll see you in great band yep all right, absolutely man take Later, care man. all right thanks for the Firebird.
lead is pulling up for his third pass. The second one did not advance him any further, but he is still in the lead by like 45 thousandths of a second against the Firebird, but they're both in the lanes. They can, the first and second place can still switch hands tonight. Cletus spinning off the line, it's a Firebird's chance to advance into number one. He's coming up here very shortly. They should be able to get one more pass by the end of the night. I think they're shutting down at 10, and it's only 9 o'clock, so we could see another pass out of both of them. sure he's ahead of Cletus now because the 720 put him at like 45 thousandths behind him so I'm pretty sure he's just ahead by a few thousandths now we're gonna have to have someone do the math here it's probably not gonna be made it's been a long week that was, a, that was the first what this big old spin yeah we had the traction control off we were oh. trying to like we were worried it was gonna wheelie and if it wheelies in the front wheel speed freaks out and it'll turn the traction gotcha. control off. Now we got some data. We're gonna uh, probably turn the traction control back on and, and uh, just pull some timing in a couple spots. And try and get her down through there. It almost hooked back up and kept rolling, but then it just wow, as you obviously heard. Yep. Meltdown around a 17. Yeah. So he's got to go a 708 to do this. Oh really? With our current slip. Oh, you're that far ahead. The math is crazy when you have four four runs in. I think it's 708, but I'm pretty sure I I put it in an Excel sheet. And so I like you said like 708. Math right now is just not gonna happen for me. <laughs> yeah, so we're in the safe zone for a little bit. That up. I would like to go a 70 or 690 and then lock it. Oh yeah. We'll get there. Uh, now what do we do? <laughs> what, what's the number you need? Uh, I think we gotta go 7 0 something with him getting that 7 2. That's what Garrett was thinking. Yeah. 7 1 7. Tipping away a little bit. Well, we, had, we had to take a little off the top. Uh, was we it spinning up there? No, we're having some other issues up gotcha. there. So. Had to take a little off to protect stuff, and uh, yeah. So we put some into the bottom, and we made some suspension changes, and they worked, and now it's like, well, now uh, what do we do? <laughs> man. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You're already going so damn fast, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. How much do we, you know, and now it's this deal of, okay, do we keep beating on it and try uh -huh. to get it, or do we just save it? You do have to get and, to Great Bend still. And, and we got a shootout to run, too. That's right? true. That, I mean, we stand a pretty good chance in. So, I don't know. Man. I don't know what we do now. Right. What a oh, ride. man. All right. Well, All right. I'm sure we'll see you up there. Wait. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, nice run. Yeah. Congrats. Thanks. Appreciate it. It's water. Done that before. Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs>
Curry with the wheelie. If you didn't see the first day from Rock Around Race Week, Tom had some issues getting the car to make a full pass the first day and wasn't able to make it to the second day. Uh, but he's got the car sorted out, he trailered it here, and he's doing some exhibition runs. He's going to be racing Matt Frost and the Hulk that just ran a 680 here just for a little fun run. In your fingers. Open the clutch holds. What do you need for a number to retake first? 987. 987. So the Fairlane ran a nine? He ran a 959. Nine, nine, nine. Holy crap. He's been trying to run his first nine all week. Yeah, and he hit a 95. <laughs> all right. So happy, so happy for him, but I gotta go get it. Hope that clutch holds together, man. Me too. I might be changing one in the parking lot in the morning. <laughs> Worth it. Let's do it. Come on, right here. No shit, did he run? Yeah, he ran a 12.56. No way. He spun out on the purse. <laughs> I feel bad for him though. Like, I, wish I know, but you he pulled a 9.50 just out of nowhere. I, I knew. Well, I didn't know. Who knows? <laughs> I just think all the all the stars align finally. Well, God's good, man. That's it's not easy with stick shift racing, that's for sure. Oh man, but I had a I had the ultimate ultimate pro, uh, mentor, right? Yeah. Chiquito, like, oh can't, yeah. I couldn't ask for a better buddy and a guy to help me get this far. It, it's just incredible. I can't I can't believe it. I I uh, that was my goal, run a nine. I could care less if I made it. Uh, and he hit her and he went way standing. past the nine second mark, like 950? Yeah, pretty stones. <laughs> you knew you had the power for it. It was yeah. just figuring everything out. Yeah, yeah. Lining it up. Yeah, no, I, Did it feel, did you know it when you were running that pass? Well, you're like, this I, is. The 60 felt good, right? It come out of the hole nice. And I thought, holy cow. So I just wrapped gears and all of a sudden, there's the finish line. <laughs> How much fun is this stuff? Wow. Oh, wow. yeah. And after driving from Canada all the way down here yeah, to run yeah. another thousand miles, I, I got 11 passes and 2,900 miles. Wow! So, yeah, we still got a few to go. So. Yep. 2,900 miles. Just so. gotta get to Great Bend tomorrow, <laughs> break them beams, and then I can just. <sighs> Holy cow! Yeah. Congrats. I think I got it, buddy. Dude, you totally I got, got it. I think totally I got it, man. <laughs>
Good job. <laughs> the Canadians out of nowhere. That's right. Jeez. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. That's man. amazing. It's awesome. Just a few more miles. Yep. Nice work, guys. Thank you. I feel you, but I'm happy. I do. Congratulations. Freaking wow. A. Wow. Good job, man. man. I hit second and said, Whoa! Oh, oh, no. Man. I seen you spin out of the hole there, and then, and then I thought, ah. Oh. Yes! Oh, wow. <laughs> it was, it was a mixed emotions. It was like, boo. <laughs> hey, I know, man, but, you know, second place is good. Congratulations. Thank you very much. At least much. you finished. Yeah. Wow. Is that clutch I still? <laughs> it was epic. <laughs> so much drama, so much carnage in the stick shift class. First and second changing hands a couple of times today. Congratulations to the Canadian team taking it home. As long as they make it to Great Bend, Kansas tomorrow, break the beams on their next pass. to take home the win in the class, running in 857. Dang, it has been an interesting day. One hell of a day here in Pueblo, Colorado, and Cletus McFarlane, currently overall winner of the event, as long as he makes the drive to Great Bend, Kansas, breaks the beams. And what's crazy about it is that this is where Cletus McFarlane was born back in 2016, in Pueblo, Colorado, at a cheap hotel in town. And here he is now. <laughs> Winning the overall event with 280 some cars in it. Unreal. That's gonna do it for this video. Make sure to subscribe for the last few days of Rocky Mountain Race Week. We'll see you tomorrow.